Despite outcry over menace of fake news, the Scotch now puts a knife to the things the <clears throat> that hold us together. The Supreme Court has described as fake the report that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukaide Ariwola, had a telephone conversation with President Bola Tinobu and the Director General of the Department of State Services, DSS, on the presidential election petition courts. According to the statement by the Director of Press and Information at the Supreme Court, Festus Akonde, the Apex Court gave assurance that rule of law and supremacy of the Constitution will always be upheld in every matter before the courts. You know, what is this about? Last year, before the handover, it was alleged to that Justice Ariola met, was going to the United Kingdom to see the president-elect as at that time, and it turned out to be fake news. This one again, who is playing this mind game? It's just um, an attempt by some people lost the election to intimidate judges and see whether they can get the judges to decide the matter in a manner that favors them. These are a band of irresponsible Nigerians sitting down and just concocting lies mm. about the um, presidential election petitions uh, tribunal. There is no shred of truth in what these people have been uh, publishing. They said that Suraju and um, um, the CGN, that yes. they met abroad, that um, uh, it, it traveled to go and keep a date with the president. When it was fast checked, no. it was, the man was in Nigeria. They even showed him going to mosque. Yes. These are very responsible people was in Abuja. coming up with this propaganda, you know? Now, they showed him going to mosque mm. with his uh, walking stick, going to yes. mosque. At a time when they said he was meeting with Tinobu, you know? Now, as if that was not enough, the social media, uh, between yesterday and today, we saw stories that one judge from Bayesta State um, on the uh, uh, panel had resigned because um, it was, it was, he said, in the, and they sat down, this con artist yes. sat down and wrote That's what was supposed to be, a, to be a, a, a letter, a, a resignation letter, mm -hmm. indicating that, oh, the executive was trying to force him to give mm -hmm. judgment to somebody who did not deserve it, and that if he did that, um, uh, the democracy, our uh, democracy would be in danger. And for that reason, he was resigning. Nothing like that happened. They also claimed, sure. they also claimed, and there are gullible Nigerians who do not no, know their left from go, their right. Go to go to who, who would always uh, believe this, uh, these, these things. Now, they also claimed that uh, Ison Wike <laughs> went abroad for the purpose of meeting judges handling uh, the same tribunal. How, the case before the tribunal, how can, at the peak of the work, at the peak of the work, a judge on the panel will travel abroad? I don't know, these people, have they got brains at all? Is it, is it done? That at the peak of work, that's when they will now go. Wiki that they are talking about, Wiki is in reverse. You know? But they believe that once they put this thing out, Gullible people, people yeah, think, people. people with one track reasoning like them yeah. will just simply believe it. Oh, it is the truth. Tinobu wants to buy the, the court. Tinobu uh, wants to do this. Tinobu is, is much more concerned about uh, the state of the nation <laughs> than to be chasing judges all over the place. And the is, that the judge told you that there's going to be a rerun, that you should get ready uh, for a rerun. Okay. And there's going to be a rerun. Mm. <laughs> See, I don't even know, you know, to also tell you that these people know nothing. Mm. They don't read. Mm. And it is it's even very evident where you see some of the, the journalists who think like them, who go on air to just 
promote ignorance, peddle ignorance, they too are thinking that, oh, there will be a rerun, that people should go and prepare for a run. Do they not know that this is not the final court? The final court. Ah, it's just like somebody being sentenced to death. And you expect that the judgment will be implemented immediately. The case when has the not person, even gotten to... When the person has the liberty mm -hmm. of appealing, mm -hmm. it's not a final court. Mm -hmm. So why are you talking about Iran when it's not a final court? Whatever it is that is decided there, it will yeah. end up at the apex so court. Yeah. And People should... I realize the person at the apex court, not this This court. is the, this guy, I realize not in charge of this court. This is court of appeal. This is court of appeal. It's headed by that woman from Plateau State. Then Justice Mingen. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce the name. But unless you go then to Bamesa. training, you can't pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, it's not a final court, and you are talking about Iran. Which Iran? Which crystal ball that is upside down did you look at that told you that there will be a rerun? And the case is just against him, that there's no how he can escape the watertight evidence against him. And they built that uh, <laughs> No, you see, I listen to these commentaries. I, I listen to it every day. You enjoy listening. Yeah, yeah, I listen to it and I smile. I listen to it. You get I, amused. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing can, they can't escape. From the water tide, especially is this the, the party APF <laughs> against him? Ayo, because we are not the court. <laughs> Remember in that judgment that came on the eve of the inauguration, the Supreme Court judgment. Mm. One of the judge, judges, Justice um, Okoro, mm. said they are using social media to harass them. Mm. They are harassing judge. He said it, it, it was in, in in one of his comments. You know, if, uh, while he was reading that judgment, mm. he said they've been using, and that you cannot use social media to determine what the judges will do. Mm. The judges will base their judgment on the evidence before them. Ground. Evidence that you proved, not mm. simply evidence that you threw at them. You know, it's one thing to bring documents to court, mm. it's another thing to speak to the documents. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. let's not even go into that before they start saying Jide is acting like this. Lawyer. Okay. Time mm -hmm. is a gentleman, mm -hmm. as I always say. Final address after time the final address. Gentleman. We'll get the date they, for they, We will get to that mm -hmm. time. We will know the judgment. They should be patient. All mm -hmm. of for us now, we, so we are patient. Let let time show us what really will transpire. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They yeah, should not jump the gun. Before September 10, they must read the judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so when you begin to see this scenario and a lot of people will tell you that the the spotlight is on the judiciary. Ever since they've applied that they want to, the, the thing should be transmitted live and they, they, they agree. And since that time, there are some blogs, there are some, you know, will say that there are responsibility on a daily basis. They give you feedback of what happened in the courts, how they distorted, but then. All right. All right. As good as the social media is, unfortunately, it's been taken over to some extent by people who are very reckless. Uh, people who have uh, other agenda. You know, somebody just sits down and then begins to tweet. It sits down just because um, the person has access to maybe That's mobile phone and mm. data. Then you just write anything. And then some simple things we just believe that what the person has said is correct. Now, one of the persons that tweeted that um, uh, one of the judges had resigned because he was being intimidated, now went back again and retweeted that, OK, I now see that he has not resigned, but this and this and this. You know, <laughs> and what kind of people is, is this? A simple mind. What kind of, what kind of people, yeah. people like this? The whole, the whole, you, know, you know the whole idea? The, the whole the idea judge. is to discredit the judgment. Yes. Now, if so the judgment does, once it doesn't if it does not the meet the expectation, that they now come up and say, OK, that's what we're saying. You understand? That's what we're it saying. It doesn't meet their expectation. And, but look, we need to trust the judiciary. If we don't trust the judiciary, which institution will, will, will we trust? Where do we go to? If, to? if a party is aggrieved, okay, if a party is complaining that uh, it's been cheated or something, you go to the judiciary. If we don't trust the judiciary, why go to the judiciary at all? So. Why go to the judiciary in the first place? So we just have to learn to trust the judiciary. And I think people should be... Look, in, 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 in any contest, whether it's political contest or mm. sporting contest, mm. there must be winners, there must be losers. Let the losers lick their wounds or let them just accept defeat gracefully 
and then try again later. And mm -hmm. let the winners be responsible in victory. After all, Abraham Lincoln tried again <laughs> and again. And exactly. Until so victory came his way. Yes, we, yes. We, we don't need this. We don't need this. This does not even bode well for the nation. It's, it's, we don't have another. Most of us don't have uh, dual citizenship. I mean, those people are talking this. They can't even. They don't even know the way to the airport. You understand? If you if you cause an implosion in this country, the where would you go? Is, tweeting, is he based in Nigeria? It's not based in Nigeria. It's not based in Nigeria. And that's what that's I told some people. I told. Yes. I want some yeah, Nigerians. I said, mm -hmm. I said some of these people, people spinning these dangerous narratives are not in Nigeria. Not in Nigeria. You are in Nigeria. You don't have any place to go. Do you want to, where will you stay? This country, this country will not burn in Jesus' name. It not. So it will not burn in, this, in, in Jesus' name. But those people over there are causing problems. Look at one person in Finland talking rubbish and causing problems in the Southeast. So it, it's, it's terrible. Hopefully. It's just a matter of time. Yes, we are waiting. We are waiting. And you know it's that very uh, because I'm someone who likes the law. Mm. In fact, it's a miracle that I didn't end up a lawyer. <laughs> I'm going to look at that judgment with a fine tooth comb. <laughs> and I'll be ready. I promise you, I'll be ready. So I'll be ready. If it is. So we are waiting because they've already made us to have extra interest in mm. that judgment. And we'll be ready. We'll read it. No ah, matter how no. long. Fine tooth comb. I will use just to look at the. Oh, by what? Yes. <laughs> All right.